And security scares at two of the largest U.S. airports raised questions this morning about safety in the face of public panic. Reports of a gunman created chaos Sunday at Los Angeles International Airport. A similar report at New York's JFK Airport about two weeks ago sent stampedes of people running for cover. Don Daler is at JFK Airport with concerns about whether security officials are prepared to keep crowds in line. Don, good morning. Yeah, good morning. The incident here at JFK shows that misinformation can lead to confusion and send people into a panic. With the U.S. Open tennis tournament gearing up nearby, authorities there are hoping that they can stay organized enough to keep people from being a danger to themselves. Come on! Hundreds of travelers inside Los Angeles International Airport were sent running for safety Sunday night. Operations have an emergency at the ticket counter. Following reports of an alleged shooter. I was on the jet bridge and everybody was trampling down the runway when they heard the shot reports of the shooting. The scare caused the evacuation of several terminals and delayed nearly 300 flights. Similar chaos erupted at New York's Kennedy Airport exactly two weeks earlier. We heard shots and everybody just pushed their way in. Get down on the ground! Both incidents were discovered to be triggered by apparent loud noises. Security experts say the frequency of recent attacks in France, Brussels, and Orlando have the general population on edge. People are reacting because they understand the more quickly they react, they've heard this over and over again, their survival may depend on it. And I, so I think what you're seeing is reaction both to past news events, potential terrorist acts, and kind of the natural human response of fight or flight. Law enforcement's next big task? protecting 700,000 spectators at the U.S. Open. Hundreds of federal and local police, as well as private security officials, have all been assigned to protect the tournament crowds. Layers of protection have been installed, including screening checkpoints, roadblocks, and reinforced fencing, all in place to prevent a large-scale attack. I have to also manage the security on the court. U.S. Open Security Director Michael Rodriguez says organization is key. We have a command center over here. In that command center is NYPD, FDNY, security company, medical services. So we have a way of getting all of our communication into one location. Even so, Rodriguez says there's no silver bullet solution to controlling the hordes of fans. No matter what we do to mitigate the risk from the threat out there, we're always going to have crowds at our events. Crowd management is never going away. So that's the thing we constantly, constantly need to work on. Rodriguez says they are also focusing on the so-called soft zones outside the security zones, for instance, where people line up in their cars. Counterterrorism units, the FBI, and even the U.S. Army are focused on keeping those areas safe. DeMarco? All right, Don, thank you.